Hello and welcome back to What Remains of Edith Hinch. So we just entered what appears to be Molly's room. So now we're going I to explore. looking at Molly's room through the peephole. I cannot get out of Molly's room. I cannot go back through here, apparently. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. It's kind of cool. I don't... Is that like fake brick? Is that the fireplace? The back side of the fireplace, maybe? Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> hmm, can't go in there. Oh, again, another gorgeous view. Books, Monsters of the Deep, The Jungle Book. Okay, so that's going to trigger another scene, so I'm going to make sure that I fully explore the room before I do that. Yep, looks like there's nothing else, so here we go. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Well, I still cannot exit the room. My Halloween candy was all gone. So clearly I am now playing as Molly. Ah, okay. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Hmm. S Scandinavian accent. The door is locked. Well, that's really not good. Hmm, something going on there. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Dry carrot. I ate. I ate a lot of things that night. Like what appear to be plastic berries. I kept eating and eating. The toothpaste. Yum. Okay. Erp. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. Hmm. So, is this all in her mind? I can jump. This game is now a platformer. Although it's not really, I mean, basically I you just. To be quiet, but the bird was really scared. You just sort of have to um, point yourself in the direction you want to go and go, and you're never going to miss. Huh, <laughs> a frisbee. Um. Where'd you go, bird? Oh, there you are. Bird house. Chasing the bird. And I almost got her. Oops, missed. Well. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. 
All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. In the grass, huh? Well, this is uh, so I can control my direction. I cannot control my altitude, though. Bunny rabbits. All right, so if I want to get a rabbit, I click the mouse button. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Well, yeah, because owls then don't chew. Find something bigger. Owls don't chew. Although, to eat a rabbit, this must be a pretty good-sized owl. A mama rabbit. A mama rabbit. Great owl. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. A shark in a tree. A shark in the forest. Land shark. So about all I can do... I can't really do anything except click the mouse button, and that's so that triggers my continuing roll down the hill. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. So I can control my direction. I can control my elevation, although the up-down controls are reversed from where I usually what I'm used to, so it takes a little getting used to. Look, it's a seal. I wanted fat, juicy seals. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. Oh, I can control... I can totally control my direction with my mouse. I didn't even realize that. Okay. It's getting kind of dark. I mean, okay, yeah, it's a circle of life. Predator and prey. Oh, where'd you go? I'm gonna get you. Grabbed on tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. I now have a tentacle. I'm a tentacle monster. So I reach out with my tentacle and then pull myself towards it. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Kid's got a bit of a dark imagination. Assuming this is all her in her imagination. Is it? I don't know. I'm gonna guess it is. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Yum. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Is there anybody in here? Oh, he's right there. Yeah, 
Okay, getting turned around here. I want to go out through the door. Something you had to have. What could it be? Some I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. So, moving the mouse does nothing here. Just using controls, keys. Hmm. This looks familiar. This looks like Molly's bathroom. I got closer and closer. And definitely Molly's bedroom. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. That's kind of dark. Put her diary back down. And we fill in. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. So Molly definitely seemed to have a very active imagination, envisioning herself as other creatures, as so many children do. I certainly know that I have. Wondered what it would be like at the very least. And there's a kitty. Hello kitty. Where'd you go? Oh, I can come out here. Um, I guess this is the way out of the room. This would be obvious locked. later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Uh, can I climb out on this branch here? I'm guessing no. But this is as far as I went through in the... Uh, initial playthrough that I did, so now I'm completely blind. No idea what's going to happen now. And now I'm in I another bedroom. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Okay. Well, uh, this looks like a good spot to, uh, End this session. We got along and it was a good place to hide from my mom. So I'm going to go ahead and end this session here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.